Cars go fast because of their wheels. Rip. Buildings are secure because of their spatial design. Electronics are convenient because of their components. Industries are productive because of their machinery. Aerospace soars high because of technology. Green energy lasts because of natural resources. Annealed wire is widely used because of its many practical uses. Trin U Works Company Limited. Introduction to Trin U. Trin U Works and Company Limited was founded in 1949 in Gangshan, Kaohsiung. Trin U began as a manufacturer of sewing needles and measuring devices. We have gradually diversified the development of our products. In 1955, we developed and introduced automated machinery for the production of various bolts, nuts, tapping screws, carbon steel, and steel alloy wire material products. Our products have earned a high reputation and trust from both domestic and international customers. In addition, our global sales network has allowed us to achieve a 40% domestic market share and to reach customers in over 60 nations. In-series process with precision procedures. Trinu's expert knowledge and stable quality are our best tools for establishing excellent word of mouth. We are very strict in all of our processes from product design and mass production to shipping. For over 60 years, the Trinu Group has insisted on using the best quality to service society. We have established a series of quality assurance systems from the moment raw materials enter the plant to product packaging and shipping. Furthermore, our advanced equipment and personnel make each process efficient and accurate. International Certificate and Quality Assurance Trinu has obtained the CNS12681, ISO 9001, AS9100, ISO TS16949, IRIS, International Railway Industry Standard, and CE, European Construction Products Directive Certificates. The defect rate controlled under PPM standards. These certificates assure the quality of our products. However, we are always in pursuit of higher standards and better quality. Comprehensive testing leads to product perfection. Our comprehensive series of testing equipment, instruments, and sampling system in the factory allow us to obtain the American A2LA Quality Laboratory Certificate. This enables us to the international standards when conducting various analysis and tests. All the detailed measurement and testing together with our strict control over production processes allow us to provide high quality production for customers. Breakthrough innovation in pursuit of excellence. The fastener industry is extremely competitive. Thus, only by breaking through existing technology and continuing to create to stay competitive over the long run have we continued to challenge ourselves as well as provide solutions for customers with custom parts. With such a process, not only have we grown with our customers, we have also allowed ourselves to move forward. Environmental Preservation and a Green Industry Based on its mission of social welfare and environmental preservation, Trinu has actively assisted the industry in solving waste hydrochloric acid processing problems. We led the industry by establishing the first waste hydrochloric acid recycling plant in Taiwan to reduce resource losses. 
We have also established wastewater processing facilities to collect wastewater produced during the manufacturing processes. The wastewater is processed and cleaned, then released back into the environment. TRINU implements its concept of environmental presentation in every step and at every moment. TRINU Group Globalized TRINU Group, through its excellent products and sales channel, markets and distributes in over 60 countries. At the same time, to supply the demand, we established a global logistics system. We have factories in Taiwan, Dongguan, China, Anshan, China, Shanghai, China, and Indonesia. We have also established logistics centers in Shanghai and the United States to provide more accurate, economical, and speedy services, which allows us to serve domestic and international customers well and fulfill customer satisfaction. We aim to develop mutual markets and grow with our customers. Company Philosophy Creation, efficiency, and service has always been the philosophy of Chen Yu, which enables us to strengthen our quality and technology together. Our Rechman also gained the Excellent Performance Exporter and Best Employee Coordination Award year after year. With sustainable management, Trenu is able to provide the most competitive and outstanding products for customers and society. Trenu creates works of art for global fasteners. Technical, innovative and precise Anchor Fasteners Industrial Company Limited, which was funded in 1986, is located in Gangshan, Kaohsiung, Taiwan. For over 20 years, Anchor has always insisted on local development, global manufacture, worldwide marketing. Vertical integration results in brilliant performance. The total factory area is over 190,000 square meters and total employees are over 1,000 people. Anchor's product lines include thousands of kinds of expansion anchors and fixing fasteners, and now Anchor is one of the biggest suppliers worldwide. Taiwan Anchor is the headquarters of the Anchor team in which main products are constructed, hardware, fixing fasteners, etc. Building One, motorcycle parts, automobile parts, Special fasteners and special parts are made by cold foraging. Building 2 Anchor fasteners and construction fasteners. Building 3 Rivet nuts, T rivets, and other riveting system fasteners. 2005 Established Ningbo Anchor Special Fasteners Industrial Limited. Vietnam Company Limited was established. Aiming at the Vietnamese domestic market, Anchor developed special cold foraging parts for bicycles, motorcycles, and automobiles. Through integrated production, from processing to wire drawing and plating, Anchor gained a lot of competitive advantages in cost, efficiency, and quality. Main products include a variety of construction hardware, automobile parts, motorcycle parts, etc. Taiwan Anchor Manufacture Department. The Anchor team utilizes all kinds of advanced production equipment, including multi-station nut forming machines, screw machines, flange facers, various processing machines, rolling, tapping and knurling, annealing furnaces, 3D optical, camera, sorting machines, etc. Quality Assurance Department. Anchor has a wide selection of inspection equipment including testers for gauge, tinsel, torque, shear, rockwell hardness, x-ray plating thickness, salt spray, 
3D projector, etc. An SPC system is used for analyzing and managing to ensure stable quality. It also strictly manages quality tests and inspection from raw material to the finished products to ensure quality in every single process. Search and Development Department. Anchor places high value on research, development, and efficiency. The Anchor team consists of many outstanding engineers and PhDs doing research. This department utilizes several kinds of high price CPM cold foraging simulation software and continuously develops new products, over 120 cases per year on average. We are Anchor Fasteners Industrial Company Limited. Welcome to SFE, a company that you respect teach. Please allow us to introduce you our company's proud growing profile. In 1982, our company established by expanding of our orders, we established our first warehouse in 1987 and moved to the present location in 1991. In 1995, we set up our first manufacturing plant with 48 sets for heater and 55 sets for work. In order to add extra professional technique, we built up our second factory with 12 sets for formers in 1999. In 2005, we expanded our second factory to upgrade our ability of producing. After having a factory, SFE are dedicated to obtain certification of International Management System with the following years. We were awarded ISO 9002 and QS 9000 in 1998, FQA Laboratory Accreditation in 2000, ISO TS16949 Accreditation by TIFF in 2004, ISO 4001 in 2008. Since 2009, we passed supplier assessments such as JCI, Eaton, Philip, and Leo. Most of our products are specifically to customer drawing. We can offer special head and thread styles depending on customer requirement. such as crowd drags, math ray, drive systems certificated by Philips like Motor, Porsche Square, and Triwheel. Also, we have Torx, Torx Plus, Clinch Stance Trucks, In addition, our strategic partnership with other world-class manufacturers allow us to offer a wide range of special products. SFE Service Give our customer the most competitive price and accurate delivery. We can also offer scheduled release for large orders to help keep your inventory down. Flexibility we have total 63 co-handling machines, 20 multi-station bow forms, and 98 thread rolling machines with completely inspection equipment and reliable service that can definitely meet your expectation. Expertise SFE is going through the 34 years from establishment in fascinating industry. Over 50% of our staff have been with us for more than 10 years. Our experience added with our constantly updated technology definitely can be the one you can rely on. Service, flexibility, and expertise are our spirit and our promises. SFE, beyond your expectations.
Hello, good morning from Hong Kong and welcome to all of our fasteners on Global Sources Live Supplier Stories. My name is Tom and today I'm delighted to be joined by three guests from the Taiwan Institute of, hang on, got that wrong already, the Taiwan Industrial Fasteners Institute, who are here to talk all about screws, bolts and other fasteners that are the essential components for so many industries. They will share their insights and knowledge about you know, which kinds, um, which applications are always in demand, what are the new techniques and materials or technologies that are going to be in demand in the near future. And if you are a sourcing professional who is looking to get into buying, well, if you're a beginner in buying fasteners, what do you need to know? And if you're already in the trade, what do you need to know about what is coming up? I will begin to introduce them in just a moment. Uh, but before I do that, I'd like to remind you that this Global Sources Live program is all about answering the questions that you have as a sourcing professional, dealing with the problems that you encounter, whether you are you know, the massive scale procurement manager for a global multi-subsidiary huge enterprise, or if you're running a small business, perhaps you're a lone e-commerce seller, we want to help you deal with your problems and the best way for us to find out what those are, are if you, is if you tell us. So please do leave comments and questions in the space below wherever you're watching this on Facebook, YouTube or LinkedIn. And uh, we will monitor them on the little tab that I have on my screen over here. And towards the end of this panel, uh, we will put uh, questions if you have them, to our guests and uh, they should be able to perhaps respond in more detail, expand on something they've said earlier, or uh, perhaps you have a, a unique new question that they might be able to help you deal with. So uh, do leave your comments and questions, uh, but without any further ado, I should bring on our first guest. And that's gonna be from Chunyu Works and Company Limited. Sorry, I'm just looking down at my control panel. Uh, Ellen Chen. Good morning, Ellen, how are you? Hello, everyone. Hello, Tom. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, Thank you for joining us uh, this morning. We can't do these things without you. So uh, we very much appreciate uh, you uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. Uh, how, where are you calling us from today? What, what city are you in? Uh, I'm located in Gangsheng, Kaohsiung in Taiwan. And it's a very honor and also my pleasure to join this interview. And thanks Tom to describe the fascinating industry very appropriately. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, interesting to hear you're in Gaoxiong. I've never been there myself, but my, my mother once visited and she had a great time. <laughs> it's so, a very uh, beautiful city. It's yeah, that's what, day yeah. to day. So, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, welcome <laughs> so, you to visit us. Yeah, I'd love to actually. I looked at all her photos from the holiday. I was very, very jealous. So I do want to come visit sometime <laughs> soon. Um, let's talk a bit about visitors though. So can you tell us a little bit about um, uh, your company? You know, what does uh, should you specialize in what kind of products do you make uh, that mm -hmm. kind of thing okay uh on behalf of true group it's very really honored to join this uh, interview again and thanks tom and thanks global source to invite us uh true group we are the first uh fastener manufacturer in taiwan our founder mr chen yu li started the business in producing sweet needle meters and steel nut in 1949 and our main products are annual wiring, drawing wire, screw, bolt, and nut, which apply on construction, home decoration, vehicle, and uh, railway. Our quality products are well known in Taiwan and adapted by the Taiwan MRT system, Taiwan High Speed Railway, and Taipei 101. After 70 years uh, later, our uh, training group has become a global service oriented fastener factory. So establish a global chain with uh, our local partner worldwide. So we set up our production plant in Dongguan in Taiwan and uh, also in Indonesia. And the sales chain is set up in Shanghai and USA with uh, its uh, local branch and warehouse. Trigu is not only produce the nut bowl or the screw, but also we made the 
uh, personal production machine by ourselves by ourselves. And also finally we like uh, thank to our parent company, Taiwan Steel Group, which is the biggest leader in carbon steel production in Taiwan. Tree Group is the only fully integrated fastener manufacturer in Taiwan with access to raw material, forging, churning, and machinery, all supplied within the group companies. So we are very confident to fulfill the requirement from our customer and also uh, provide a complete service to them. Thank you. Yeah, thank, no, thank you for that great introduction. That's a, a very solid sounding supply chain. Um, that's yeah. quite, quite a good advantage. All right, well, thank you so much for that um, introduction to um, Chinyu Group. Um, I will now bring our second guest, who is, uh, let me see, let me just check, from Anchor Fasteners. Let's say hello to uh, Dejanes Tong. Have I got your name correct? I always lose confidence when I start to say it. Yes. OK, hello, good, good. Hello, Alan. So hello. I'm Dejanes Tong Hi. from Anchor Fasteners. All right, fabulous. And where are you calling us from this morning? Uh, well, I'm calling from Kansan Singh as Chen Yu. Ah, OK. So you can, <laughs> you could have done this from the same room, maybe. <laughs> All right, that's nice. So um, uh, why don't you give us a bit of an intro to Anchor then? Can you tell us about you know your key products, maybe some of your markets? OK, so first of all, I would like to thank Google Source for inviting us to join this live. So let me introduce our company. So our company, Anchor Fastener, established in 1986. We operate for around 35 years and dedicate in manufacturing high quality fasteners for the construction and automotive industries. Our line of products including concrete screw, witch anchor, chopping anchor, and ripplers, etc. Also, we offer customized fasteners by drawing. What I'm saying is, we have the ability to produce cost-effective solution for our customers. Furthermore, we have multiple certifications, such as ISO and ITF, ETA and CE approval. We are able to provide excellent products for customers every lead. So our philosophy is customer-centric. Above all, build a strong network in upstream and downstream, and bring the benefit to our customers with cultural attitude that's the goal we pursue. So, and to create a profit share achievement, whether in the past, present, or in the future. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a very positive outlook as well. That sounds great. So, thank you uh, for that, uh, Dejanes, uh, talking about anchor fasteners. And we have last, but by no means least, let me check my control panel. We have Viola Tseng from. Special fasteners engineering. I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit of background noise. I'm going to mute you just for a second, uh, Dejanes. Um, sorry about that. Uh, there we go. Hi, Viola. Good morning. Can you can you hear us? Okay, I can hear you. Hello, everyone. Ah, great. Tom, Ellen, and Dave. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hi, and how are you this fine morning? Um, great. A little bit nervous. <laughs> oh, don't be, don't be nervous. We're all we're all friends here. Just having a chat. <laughs> Um, in, in front of the internet, admittedly. Mm -hmm. So uh, where are you calling us from, out of interest? Uh, also in Kaohsiung City, Taiwan. Ah, right. Well, it's a real, yeah. a real uh, sourcing center for fasteners mm -hmm. by the sounds of it. Yes. That's fantastic. So, well, the company is called Special. Um, why don't you tell us a bit about what makes it uh, special? <laughs> What makes it special? Um, we have some licensed parts like the drive, Tox drive, Tox plus. And we also have Strux and Methrate. They are also licensed parts. And uh, our specialty is we uh, specialize in providing automotive fasteners. Yeah. I see. And uh, what kind of uh, markets do you, do you serve? Is it, for example, North America, elsewhere in the world? Um, the biggest is United States, and the second one is Germany. Okay, yeah, that, that, make, that makes sense. Uh, that's pretty much the two big automotive production centers, I guess. All right, yes. so fantastic. Um, well, viewers, as you will know, if you've um, caught the opening videos uh, earlier on, all three of these companies make a tremendous variety of uh, fasteners for different applications. And uh, we won't go into those right now, but I'm 
have a feeling they're going to come up as we move into our discussion. And in fact, um, I'd like to begin by uh, quoting something that comes from um, the TFI, the uh, Taiwan Industrial Fastness Institute kind of homepage on globalsources.com, I think it was. Um, and it says this, so screws are known as the rice of industry. They've always been invisible in the eyes of consumers, but it's an indispensable basic part. The smallest can be used on IC chips. The largest can be used on aircraft. So the beginning question then is, for such a fundamental product, what are the must-haves for somebody who is sourcing screws and other fasteners? So which products are always in demand? And I would like to go first to Ellen with that question. Please. Okay, uh, thanks, Tom, to describe screw very uh, appropriately. Indeed, screw is uh, essential to industries such as construction, vehicle, and uh, machinery, electronic, and so on. So the demand is varied based on the special requirement from each market and also the trend of uh, each industry. Uh, for instance, the screw applied on construction in America and in Taiwan is totally different. The house in USA are made of uh, are mainly made of uh, wood, and in Taiwan, the house made of bricks and concrete. So America needs a lot of uh, cutting screw, wood screw, self drilling screw to build the house. But in Taiwan, we use those screw to decorate uh, for our house. In, this means the interior decoration. So speaking of the trend of industry, I believe electric vehicle Tesla, which is the very um, famous brand Tesla, mm -hmm. has always been popular. So it's not only benefit to fasteners, but also drive the innovation of new technology and application. And Tree Group is very honored to cooperate with the, the tier one supplier. So we are looking forward to working with more company to contribute the fastener innovation. Thank you. All right, thank you. And uh, actually, if I could throw that question over to Viola as well for special fasteners what's your perspective on the fasteners that are always uh, in demand year after year mm -hmm. um actually i totally agree with alan especially on automotive fasteners because 60 percent of our production are for automotive application and um, not only screws vehicles are also indispensable in our daily life the demand of vehicle is seldom reduced Along with the invention of electric cars, the demands um, for the fastener is changed as well because the electric cars have an electric motor inside instead of internal combustion engine. The fasteners have been used on engine are not suitable for electric cars. However, electric cars still need fastener to assembly. Therefore, fastener industry should work on innovation and transformation on automotive fasteners through continually negotiation with customers to find um, what they need. That's the spirit of customized fasteners, and it can explore more possibility and potential in this industry. Yeah, thank you, Ayala. Yeah, so it's interesting that you both mentioned the, the relatively new application of uh, EVs, electric vehicles, so uh, that's definitely growing. I saw an electric Porsche on my way to work the other day. Um, <laughs> so um, that brings us actually to the, the second kind of question that we, uh, the topic that we uh, plan to talk about, which is uh, the more unusual type of fasteners. So uh, what are some uh, rarer kinds maybe that have good sales potential or, um, you know, for applications that are growing in demand? Uh, if I could ask uh, Anka's, uh, about that. Uh, what do you think are the, the more um, unexpected, unusual fasteners that um, will be selling well in the future and would be a good thing to be sourcing? Mm, in my opinion, those specialty applications made by the order and clients on prints, as we know the customized parts. 
So this kind of products always in huge demand, and that's the reason why I would like to mention about Anchor has ability to, which is not only can provide a high quality product that can make customers required, but also we can create a value and benefit to them by all means. So currently our company is developing few items which may come with a great potential and competitive advantage. First, the interlock with it has a unique ring shape solid locking design, which can produce interlock locking during installation. Therefore, it can be permanently flush lock in place. The shielding layer can block water and cells for extending the surface light of the voice tester. And second, anchor bolt B type foam. Its strength is the highest in this series. The unique push pull installation design which is very suitable for multi tree vehicles, suspension, security fans, and railway, etc. And then the HT type hug painter. It has a stable installation point pressure, which can reduce the possibility of pushing on the panels. The layer provides the corrosion protection as well. For these three products installation, you can only just on one side and the anchor demonstrate the excellent anti-fibrate result. We are constantly working on this project to develop other parts of this series. All right, wow, thank you. That's uh, fascinating. Um, Ellen, how about you? Uh, does Chin Yu have any, um, well, I was about to say products sitting in the pipeline, maybe that's a secret, um, but perhaps uh, from your perspective, what are some unusual fasteners that uh, are looking promising? It's okay. I, I think Dejanis just mentioned the unique advantage of Taiwanese fastener manufacturer compared with the, our major competitor who is from China, Southeast Asia. And let me take example of the school applied in the medical industry. The requirement will be more crucial and tough on material, production method, quality control, and so on. I believe the Taiwanese uh, fastener supplier are capable of producing any product they are requires high performance via the updated technology. As for my understanding, one of the affiliate of Anchor Group, Alien Global Technology, is specialized in producing the school for teas. So I believe that most of uh, Taiwanese fastener factory can produce the very uh, unusual type fastener for global supplier. Thank All right. You. So yeah, that's uh, fascinating. So it's less, perhaps less a case of seeking out the promising applications, but mm -hmm. com coming to the manufacturer with, with the requirements. Fantastic. All right. So, I mean, you've also, well, as you just mentioned, kind of competitive advantages um, for factories based in Taiwan. The crucial question, I think perhaps uh, a, a big takeaway for any buyers watching this is when a buyer is comparing suppliers, I mean, fastener suppliers, what are the capabilities or the characteristics uh, that they should pay attention to um, in order to decide which supplier is going to be best for their business? Um, could I ask, uh, Viola, perhaps I could ask you that first. Okay, um, price always comes first when the buyer sure. is comparing fastener suppliers. The lower price, the better competitive advantage. But if buyer only focus on price, they might neglect the importance of capability and characteristic that the supplier should have. In my point of view, the capability and characteristic that a supplier or we say manufacturer should have our production capability and quality control ability. Production capability relies on the facility, skills, and well-trained employees, etc. Manufacturer not only can produce goods which meet buyer's requirement, but also can do beyond their expectation, that is, better assembling for end users to ele elevate their working efficiency. Um, quality control ability is another essential factor. Manufacturers should strictly follow quality management system and control each process of producing scoops. Manufacturers 
um, have production capability. At the same time, they should be equipped with the ability of internal inspection and quality assurance as well. Um, apart from above mentioned uh, capabilities that the supplier should have, buyers should also pay more attention on global situation, especially on transportation. COVID-19 related disruptions are having a big impact on freight capacity and rates. So delays and closures are still undergoing. It will be meaningless if goods cannot be delivered as they expected. Um, buyers should be uh, should ev evaluate which shipping mode is the best for them now. So I think they should find a balance in between. All right. Yes, thank you. I mean, especially on the shipping issue, that it, it is, I think it could be summed up as a nightmare at the moment. It has been slightly improving recently, but not not by a lot. So, so yes, that's uh, definitely the one I always uh, read the worst news about consistently at the moment. But uh, let's also, um, perhaps, Dejanos, I could uh, come to you with that question as well. What are your tips for buyers uh, when assessing manufacturers? What, what should they be on the lookout for? Um, actually, I feel the same way with Viola. Mm. And I have two characteristics ring in my head. The first one, um, ability of producing product of the design, construction, and physical dimensions specified on the customer's drawing. And to make sure the print is met with client's concept, it's this it to do with a good, great communication. And the second one, the service is quite essential. When the customer has any further inquiries after the order, seller is able to reply them immediately. Completing the answer, company is not doing solve the problem by introducing another. But think I had the problem before the client. And figure it out then overcome it. So this is very important and really hard to achieve. Yeah. Yes, uh, it is, and I guess a little bit hard to um, to figure out sometimes if you're meeting a, a company for the first time, which is why it's so important to communicate with other people in, uh, you know, other buyers in the business as well, and get recommendations. I would suppose. So thank you all for that. Um, I think to come to our final main question as well. Um, Got a bit of a challenge for you, which is, um, please tell us something uh, most people don't know about your industry. And I'm going to put Viola on the spot first. What's uh, what's an interest, well, preferably interesting thing that most people don't know about fastness? Um, I would like to share my experience for these questions sure. about what I have seen and experienced during during the time that I've been working in fastener industry. Screws are always in demand, so it might that people think fastener industry can make a lot of profit. On the opposite, price competition at fastener industry is quite common. In order to get more orders, um, companies have this strategy of price reduction. For short terms, they can get more orders, but for long terms, it will reduce the value of fastener industry and more difficult to make profit. It will also make buyers only focus on price rather than other important factors that when looking for a supplier. As you may know, the commodity keep increasing nowadays. Materials, production cost, processing cost, even packaging material cost keep increasing. So in order to maintain the quality level that we have been supplying, we have to adjust prices rather than absorb all the costs by our own. However, buyers have been purchasing fasteners with low prices for such a long time. So it's definitely hard for them to accept the price increasing. Um, but if it is quite frustrated, I think the fastener industry in Taiwan should unite together to support each other to prosper this industry. All right, thanks, Viola. And uh, Ellen, how about you? What's your um, your, <laughs> um, your unknown your unknown um, fact? Really tough uh, sharing. Okay, I think Viola been mentioned the main problem of the fastener industry. Yes, I I think maybe the other industry have the same problem too. We are facing the raw material increasing. 
the price costs are increasing, everything is increasing, but our buyer and our customer, they only um, maybe they accept the, the lowest uh, price, maybe. But I think from my perspective, price competition is really seriously affected our relationship. But it also motivates us to uh, improve ourselves to meet the requirement of the customer. And I think the fashion industry in Taiwan, just like a family, Trinity Group is the first fashion manufacturer in Taiwan. So there are many owners of fashion industry in Taiwan are from Trinity or of also or also from our affiliate. Sometimes the family members will fight each other, will quarrel with each other. It's just like the price competition. But at the end, we will still help each other if they need help. So we are so happy to work with our members to promote a very honest, prosperous fashion industry together. And I think most importantly, let's work together to keep the order in Taiwan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, what, um, Degeneres, perhaps you can uh, finish up for us. Uh, what's something that most people don't know about the industry? Mm, I think both of Fiona and Ellen saying the same thing, and I'm really agree with. So I would like to do some summar summarize for sure. the about point of view. So in my opinion, both of companies are saying right and making lots of sense. It's exactly true that um, during this pandemic of COVID-19, many industries are engaged in the price war. This scenario happens many times and like mm -hmm. every sales want to get the little order and in the meantime, they would like to maintain the existing one. So we can strongly feel this atmosphere of competition. However, for this traditional industry, we have a long-term history and also attractive culture. So we are the competitors, but in the meantime, we are more like um, alliance in the field of these conventional industries. So we familiar with each other. So if any of us needs help, we are willing to give you a hand, for example, um, I get the inquiry from my customer and that item is not within my production range. I know who can, who is able to produce it. So consequently, I will introduce to them. So this, um, this phenomenon is really happen in this industry all the time. So we provide the benefit to our customer and also create the profit to our friends. I believe that this is exactly the human touch from Taiwanese and the characteristic of this traditional industry. So in the end of it, I would like to say thank you to Global Source that has given us this opportunity to know two of the members of this big family. So Alan from TE and also Viola from SFE. So keep growing and pushing for each other. When we try to become better than we are, everything around us become better too. So I believe in the future, all of us will become more and more stronger. Oh, wonderful words. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, now I am looking at the comments and there are basically no, no questions. So it seems like, I guess we covered everything. So no one has any further questions, but there are a few people just saying hi and hello. I will, I'm not going to put all of them up, I'll put a couple up. We've got Marcelo says hi. <laughs> May or Moy says hello. So hello to you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to everyone that tuned in. Um, and thank you, especially, of course, to um, Ellen, Dejanese and Viola from the Taiwan Industrial Fasteners Institute companies. If you want to get in touch with them, if we have more questions about the uh, products they've talked about and applications and custom fasteners, all that kind of detail, you can do that by going to globalsources.com and uh, searching for the company names or for TV itself. I think that would work too and contact them directly that way. Please do that. You can see all their products as well. Um, but yeah, Viola, Dejanis, Ellen, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank all right. You. I'll say goodbye uh, now. Goodbye.
All right, there we go. That was the All About Fasteners stream. Uh, do stay subscribed and tuned to our various social media channels. We have more live streams coming up in the very near future. The next Buyer Fireside Chat hosted by Megalobar Vaj is all about packaging and how you can make a real difference to your sales and the appeal of your products with packaging. And also, of course, keep those products intact between the factory and the store shelf or wherever the destination is. Stay tuned for that. We also have, uh, I think early November is the next THMA uh, Taiwan Hosiery Manufacturers Association stream hosted by Cielo. That's going to be about innovation in socks, stockings and leggings. And uh, there are plenty of other things in the pipeline that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. And that's why you must subscribe, uh, whether it be on YouTube, Facebook or LinkedIn, so that you get all the updates and uh, don't need to go and check out the calendar page on globalsources.com. So uh, that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it uh, or learned something or in any other way obtained value from today's live stream. Uh, but for now, 